Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this lesson, we are going to do these questions from the chapter Polynomial Class 10th. If A and B are the zeros of the polynomial x square plus ax plus b, then the values of A and B are 1 and 2, 1 and minus 2, minus 2 and 1, 2 and 1. In this question, we are given a and b as the zeros of the polynomial. So we can say that sum of the zeros, which is a plus b in this case, as the zeros are a and b only, is what negative coefficient of x, well, negative we should write, and coefficient of x is a, that divided by the coefficient of x square and coefficient of x square is 1. So any number divided by 1 is the number itself. In the next step, we can transpose this a to the other side. It should give you minus a minus a. So that comes out b as negative 2 times a. Now similarly, we can find the product of the zeros. Clearly, a and b are the zeros. So the product of the zeros is a, b is what? The constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Well, constant term is b and the coefficient of x square is 1. So b over 1 is 1. So we can cancel this. So a comes out to be 1. So we got a over here as 1 and replacing a in this equation we can say b is what minus 2 times a and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 right because minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 so we got the value of b as minus 2 and a as positive 1 Select the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are reciprocal of the zeros of the polynomial fx equals ax square plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are not equal to 0. Option A, bx square plus ax plus c. Option B, ax square plus bx plus c. Option C, is cx square plus bx plus a. And option D is bx square plus cx plus a. So let's take alpha and beta as the zeros of this polynomial. So what we can say from here that alpha plus beta is what? Minus b over a and the product of the zeros which is what alpha beta that is equal to c over a now in order to frame the new polynomial what we are going to do is to write down the standard formula that is a times x square minus sum of the zeros well the zeros are reciprocal this time so it's 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta times x and uh, plus product of the zeros which is 1 by alpha into 1 by beta now next is to simplify this if I take uh, alpha beta as the LCM in this case, the sum is going to be this time beta plus alpha times x plus product of the zeros, which is 1 over alpha beta. Now, what we're going to do here is to replace the value of alpha plus beta, which is minus b over a. So this is minus b over a. That multi that divided by right that divided by alpha beta and the alpha beta is what c by a so dividing is same as multiplying with the reciprocal so it is a over c times x plus one over alpha beta that is reciprocal of this right reciprocal of this is going to be a over c now on simplifying here a and a get cancelled so we are going to take c as the lcm so that results to give you c times x square minus into minus is plus times bx plus a. So we'll say that this is the equation in this case. The question here is x square plus 1 whole square minus x square equals 0 has four real roots, two real roots, no real roots, or one real root. For finding the number of zeros of a quadratic polynomial, we should know that it has two distinct real roots if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Two equal real roots if b square minus 4ac equals 0. And no real roots if b square minus 4ac is less than 0. In order to find its 0, first we are going to factorize this by applying the identity of a square minus b square. So we can write this as a being this, a plus b and the other as a minus b so this being a minus b and that is equal to zero now equating this with zero we get x square plus x plus one equals zero and equating this with zero we get x square 
minus x plus 1 equals 0. Now finding discriminant in this case, what is d in this case? d which is equal to b square minus 4ac being, being 1, 1 square minus 4 times a which is 1 and c is 1 in this case. So d comes out to be 1 minus 4 and d is equal to minus 3. So that is d which is less than 0 in this case. d is less than 0. Now coming to the other part, if I have to find discriminant in this case, in this case d comes out to be b which is minus 1 in this case, minus 4 times a which is 1 and c is 1. So you can d, we can get d as what? 1 minus 4 again and the once again it is d which is minus 3. So it is less than 0. So we can say that d has no real root. If the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 are equal then c and a have opposite signs, c and b have opposite sign, c and a have same sign or c and b have same signs. For equal zeros d is equal to 0. This implies b square minus 4ac equals 0. Now transposing 4ac to the other side we can say b square equals 4ac. Now since square of a number is always greater than equal to 0 we can say b square is greater than equal to 0. b square which is equal to 4ac so we can say 4ac is greater than equal to 0 or ac greater than equal to 0. Since a is not equal to 0 then ac greater than equals 0 if both a and c are positive or both a and c are negative.